So this problem is from matrices and linear system of equations. So in this problem, we have to find whether the following system of equations are consistent or not. If consistent, so we have to solve the system of these equations. So let's check. So the system of equations can be written as the system of equations can be written as see here the quotient of x is equal to 1 so this is 1 this is 2 this is 2 and this is 3 in the second equation the quotient of x is equal to 3 y is equal to minus 2 and z is equal to minus 1 and this is 2 this is minus 5 3 this is 1 4 and 6 into see here so into so there are three unknowns x y z is equal to and again the column matrix here is 2 so this is 2 this is 5 this is minus 4 and 0 so this is of the form a x is equal to b so this column matrix is b and this matrix is a so first of all we have to find the augmented matrix the augmented matrix will be the augmented matrix can be written as this is a by b so this matrix will be see here this is 1 2 2 and this is 3 minus 2 minus 1 this is 2 minus 5 3 this is 1 4 6 and the column matrix is 2 this is 5 this is minus 4 and 0 so we have to separate this one and this is a by b matrix first of all i'll find the rank so for that the, we have to use the first diagonal element and make r2 r3 and r4 0 so here the operations are for r2 r2 3 will be as it is here so we have to multiply r1 with 3 and subtract minus 3 r1 and here if comes with r3 so r2 will be as it is so r3 will be as it is and again i am going to multiply with 2 r1 and for r4 this is r4 will be as it is this is 1 minus 1 so this is r1 so this one so i am going to operate on this so r1 is same this is 1 2 2 and this column matrix is 2 and the next one here so the operations are very clear for r2 so this is r sorry for r2 this is row 2 so this is row 2 this will be row 2 minus 3 r1 so what is row 2 here row 2 is 3 minus 2 minus 1 5 this is 3 minus 2 minus 1 5 in between there is minus and we have to multiply r r1 with 3 so this is 3 1 so 3 3 2 is a 6 3 2 is a 6 and this one is also 6 the values here are this is 0 this is minus 8 this is minus 7 and this is minus 1 0 minus 8 minus 7 minus 1 r2 will be 0 this is minus 8 minus 7 minus 1 so this is column matrix b so this is minus 1 and the next one is on r3 so the row 3 will be so r3 operation will be r3 minus 2 r1 r3 minus 2 r1 what is row 3 2 minus 5 3 minus 4 this is 2 minus 5 3 minus 4 in between there is minus and we have to multiply row 1 with 2 so this is 2 1 is a 2 this is 2 2 is a 4 this is also 4 and this is also 4 and the values are so this is 0 this is minus 9 this is minus 1 and this is minus 8 0 minus 9 minus 1 minus 8 r3 will be 0 this is minus 1 this is minus 9 minus 1 and this is minus 8 and the next one is on the uh, row 4 so r4 minus r1 so what is row 4 here 1460 this is 1460 in between there is minus and what is r1 1 2 2 2 so this is 1 2 2 2 so the values are the values are 0 this is 2 this is 4 and this is minus 2 0 2 4 minus 2 this is 0 2 and uh, 4 and this value is minus 2 and in between there is a partition so first of all 
I used the first diagonal element and made all the three zero. And now I am going to use the second diagonal element to make these two zero. Further, the operations are. See here, it's very clear. In order to make R three zero, so this position I need zero. So R three will be. I have to multiply with eight. So this is eight R three. Very clear. Minus I have to multiply with nine and subtract R two. So then I'll get zero here. And using this minus eight, I have to make R four zero here. So R four will be. So in order to get, I have to multiply with four. This is four R three. And again, I can add. So I can add by minus eight. So this is R two. So using this operation, so R two, R one and R two will be as it is one two two, and this is two, and this is zero. This is minus eight minus seven, and this one is minus one. So this operation is on R three and R four, and uh, so please remember or uh, don't do orally. Take some time and do, then you'll do, then you don't get any mistakes. So R three, I have to multiply with eight. Zero into eight is zero. Eight nine zero minus seventy two. Eight one zero eight, and this is eight eight zero minus sixty four. So in between there is minus. So I have to multiply R two with nine. Zero into nine is zero. Nine eight zero. Nine into minus eight is minus. Seventy-two nine seven zero. This is sixty-three, and this is nine one zero nine. So the values are. It's very clear. This is zero. This is zero. If I take eight here, then this will be fifty-five. So if I take nine here, this will be minus fifty-five. So these are the values here. I am writing zero, zero. This is fifty-five, and this value is minus fifty-five. So this value is minus fifty five, and now comes on R four. So R four, this value should be zero. So this is four R three. So this is four R four. So this value is R four. This is four R four plus R two. So what is R four here? So R four is nothing but zero. See here, R four is nothing but this is zero two. So we have to multiply with four. So four into zero is four. Four two zero. This is eight. Four four zero. This, this is sixteen. Four into minus two is minus eight. And R two. What is R two here? This is uh, zero. This is minus eight. Minus seven. Minus one. And these values are zero. This is zero. And this is nine. And this value is minus nine. Zero zero nine minus nine. This is zero zero. This is nine. And this value is minus nine. And here there is a partition here. And see here. Now. So using this, I made these two zero, and using this, I made these two zero. So now I have to frame it in the form of. So again, the system of uh, the system can be written as minus eight minus seven. This is zero zero. This is fifty five. This is zero zero nine into. So here, x y z. So these are the unknowns, which is equal to the column matrix B is nothing but this is two minus one, minus fifty five, and this is minus minus nine. Again, this is of the form A x is equal to B. Now we have to frame the equations. So in order to frame one into x is x plus this one is two y, and this one is two z, which is equal to. So this value I have to equate it, which is nothing but a two. And the next equation here is zero into x is zero, and this is minus eight y minus seven z. So which is equal to um, this value is minus one. And if I equate this one, that is fifty five. So fifty five y is equal to. So this value if I equate, this will be minus fifty five. And again, if I equate nine z. Nine z will be here. It is minus nine. So first of all, so the so if we solve these equations, so if I solve this equation, that is nine z is equal to minus nine, then the z value is minus one. So after getting the z value, if I take so this value is one, this is two, 
this is 3 and this is 4. So using 4, I got the z value. So if I keep in equation 3, so what is equation 3? So equation 2, if I keep in equation 2, that is 8y minus 7z is equal to minus 1. In this, if I keep 8y minus 7 into minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So 8y plus 7 is equal to minus 1, minus 8y is equal to minus 1, minus 7, minus 8y is equal to minus 8, and y value is equal to 1. So, after getting y value, so after getting y value, I have to substitute the equation in 1. x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 2. So, the first equation is x plus 2y plus 2z is equal to 2. So, this is x plus 2 times of y. What is the y value here? y is equal to 1 plus 2 into z value is minus 1 is equal to 2. That is x plus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2. Therefore, I got the values of x, y and z. So, after solving the system of equations, I got the value of x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 and z is equal to this is minus 1. So, so, this is the problem and here x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1, z is equal to minus 1 is the solution. So, this is how we have to solve. This is so simple that. So, first of all, we have to check for the consistency. For that, ax is equal to b. The system of equations can be written as and we have to take an augmented matrix. This is a and this is this column is b and we have to find the rank. So, I said you how to find the rank and after finding the rank again we have to transform it in the form of ax is equal to b and we will be getting four equations and after solving we got the values of x, y, z as 2, 1, minus 1. So, this is how we have to solve most important problems. Uh, so, these are all repeatedly asked questions. Um, so, please uh, practice and you can do by your own and if you really like it please Pass it on, share it with your friends, leave a comment below and raise your thumb.